Hi, I'm Casey with Inspired Flight. In this video, we'll be covering the basic controls and flight modes for the IF-800 Tomcat. We have completed our pre-flight check and are ready to fly. The IF-800 Tomcat offers two basic flight modes with standard Mode 2 controls. Mode 2 refers to the left stick controlling throttle with up and down input, yaw with left and right input, and the right stick controls pitch and roll for forward, backwards, and side-to-side -side movements, all relative to the nose of the aircraft. The manual flight modes, loiter and position hold, are by default mapped to the A and B buttons on the HeroLink controller. We can switch between these two flight modes before we take off, and we can determine what flight mode the aircraft is in at the top left of the screen of the IGC app. Let's take off and hover the drone so we can dive into the differences between these two flight modes. Here, we see that we are currently in loiter mode. If we press the B button, this will switch us to position hold mode and be indicated on the top of the screen. By pressing the A button, we will switch back to loiter. Loiter mode is a more refined and slowed down flight mode, allowing for more precise controls and reduces the top speed of the aircraft to 15 meters per second. Position hold, we have nicknamed travel mode, is equivalent to sport mode, allowing the drone to travel more area quickly at its max speed of 26 meters per second. Be mindful when flying at max speed of the Bernoulli effect. The Bernoulli effect and dynamic changes in barometric pressure can affect the flight core barometer and altitude readings, causing the aircraft to descend slightly at high speeds, then return to its maintained altitude once speed is reduced. Both loiter and position hold modes utilize GPS, but they offer different flying experiences. Loiter provides more precise control and quicker braking when you release the sticks, while position hold allows faster, more aggressive flying. While the aircraft maintains its position, the braking distance is longer, but the pilot can apply stick input to bring the aircraft to a quicker stop. Auto flight mode will be entered when a flight plan is given to the drone and is started by a dialog box slider shown on the controller. Missions are edited and uploaded from the plan tab. Here, we are using a pre-planned mission. We will cover advanced mission planning in another video. Then, from the fly tab, we will see the dialog box slider to start our mission. We can pause the mission at any time from the action menu to the left. To resume, use the slider to resume the mission from the next waypoint. During an automated mission, limited stick mixing is available to adjust the vehicle heading while continuing the planned mission flight path. And again, the operator can take full control by pressing the A or B buttons to change flight modes. To start a guided flight, we can begin by using the takeoff action from the menu. Then switch to the map view and select a nearby location on the map to open a dialog box, then choose go to location. This will prompt a slider to confirm the action. Altitude commands can be given to adjust flight altitude. Again, the pilot must press the A or B buttons to regain manual control. Stick mixing allows the pilot to input relative stick commands to the vehicle without exiting automated flight, such as adjusting yaw heading during planned mission or guided flight. During landings, the right command stick can maneuver the drone laterally for small corrections during the landing process. This concludes basic controls and flight modes for the IF-800. Join us in our next video where we will cover return to launch settings.